Well, you guys got another video. Should you update to Windows 11 24H2 right now? Seems that some people have already done it and had no problems. I had some issues with it yesterday, as you see in my video. Yesterday's video was basically going to be a video on how you can download 24H2 right now if it's not showing up in your Windows updates. Unfortunately, I did go through the Windows Update Assistant uh, tool and show you that method but personally it crashed and it caused a blue screen so should you update or should you not well if you don't see your update here the update option available to you then i would not recommend updating uh, manually like i did because it's going to be a risk and it could cause an issue now on microsoft's website it does say current release windows 11 24 h2 and it offers you three options which i showed you windows 11 installation assistant also create Windows 11 installation media and download the Windows 11 uh, image. I would not use any of these methods right now until Microsoft have fixed a few bugs that are still with 24H2 and we'll go through those in this video. If you do choose to go through the method like I did in my previous video, which was Windows 11 installation assistant, you can end up running into a blue screen of death or other issues. So be very careful if you're forcing the update by doing a manual install. I wouldn't recommend you do this. I would wait until it comes down and gives you the option once Microsoft fix a lot of things. Now, there were some comments like Mike's or Mike Bob's that did suggest that 23H2 users were having blue screen of death and boot loop, and that was due to the KB504-3145. I did read up about this, and I always normally read up and give you guys information about the known issues with updates. Unfortunately, I've been suffering with COVID and I've been pretty ill, so I haven't had a chance to make those videos. But we'll go through some important stuff right now, just after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. You can use my promo code capital B, capital R, 09, and apply to steward and get a 30% discount. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key. You can use this key to either upgrade from Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home to Pro, or you can use it to activate your version of Windows like you see on the screen right now. Check the links in the video description. Okay, so let's get back to the known issue. So for 23H2, we was talking about this known issue here, which Mike Bob posted in the comments section, which was this uh, KB file right here. And you can see some users reported devices failing in restart after trying to install the September 2024 non-security patch preview update. Uh, so ba basically that's what was on there. Now for the known 24H2 known issues, there's six of them right here and we'll go through them right here. But you can see here, safe exam browser application might fail to open. And you can see right here, there's some information about it saying while this uh, device is running version 3.7 or lower versions, of this application are incompatible with Windows 11 24H2 and that can cause an issue. So if you've got other things like some devices using easy anti-cheat, stop responding after received a blue screen of death. So if you've got easy anti-cheat on your system, uh, it's possible that you could run into an issue with a blue screen. And I do have easy anti-cheat on my system as well. Fingerprint sensors might experience problems after a device is locked. And you can see here some device models are affected and compatibility hold in place. And you can see updating device firmware might resolve this issue. Wallpaper customization applications might not work as expected. Multiple applications are affected and compatibility hold in place. Updating applications might resolve the issue. So you can see here compatibility issues with Intel smart sound technology drivers. This is another common one that's caused the problem before. The Intel SST uh, driver might receive an error or a blue screen. Now, I don't have the Intel SST driver on my system, but you can run into errors or even blue screens of death if you have that on your system. They also talk about Asphalt 8 might periodically stop responding. And again, this can cause issues as well. There's probably other issues out there that are known to cause a blue screen of death. And again, the list is endless. So should you upgrade to this? I would say hold off for a second because there's no need to rush. There's no resolved issues for 24H2 because it's only just being rolled out. So again, you're always taking that risk when you're forcing the issue to upgrade to the latest version of Windows. 
If you've got a stable version of Windows, there is no need to rush. If you've got applications on your system, uh, some applications can cause a blue screen of therefore error codes. You know, whether you're changing your start menu, like start all back or explore a patcher, if you're running that on your computer, or maybe you've got other programs that you use on your system, these might stop you from upgrading properly and these can cause an issue. They might work with 24H2 now, but during the upgrade process, because it's not a legit program, it's a third party uh, program, it can cause a problem. And there's other programs like ESUS that have caused issues in the past. And these companies need to upgrade their software to be able to accept 24H2. So I will just hold off for a second. So if you don't see the Windows update for 24H2 posted here, and you do have the get uh, latest updates as soon as they are available, if it doesn't show up here, it might mean that Microsoft are withholding this update for you, knowing that your system specs do not meet their requirements. And if you do have something on your system like Asphalt or Easy Anti-Cheat, Microsoft might be trying to find patches for those on their end to try to patch it so when they roll out the update to you then you're not going to have that blue screen issue or maybe they're waiting for these other manufacturers to update their software and patch it first so they can then roll it out to everyone and it will get done in stages if you look here on the support list for the versions here you can see that 23h2 has right up until november 11th 2025 now the misinformation out there on the internet might be forcing people to upgrade to 24H2 because of some sort of security risk that they're going to get attacked or hacked or their system's going to be vulnerable. You have up until November 11th, 2025 on 23H2. It's There's no rush. And uh, when you want to roll that update out uh, for 24H2, you can do. Again, you will still receive all of the same security updates as 24H2 does if you're on 23H2. There's no need to rush to update your system. Wait until Microsoft release some information and wait till they patch and get this a nice stable update for everyone. Once you receive that through your Windows updates, you can then choose a time when you want to update. It's always best, like I've said before, is to wait and you're always going to get bugs on very early releases of uh, Windows updates. And you can see here in more detail, uh, I'll leave the links in the video description for you, about the issues that they're having i would hold back a little bit and as you can see on my system i don't have this uh, issue here and it could be something else that hasn't been listed yet on microsoft's website they haven't got all of the data and this is why it's important to share a little bit of information with microsoft because they obviously need to know uh, what your system specs are so they can see what's going on uh, so the telemetry side of things is important to a degree when it comes to things like this, where they need to harvest a bit of information of your system information, uh, just to make sure that they're rolling out updates that are gonna work properly. Again, uh, it's a moment to debate how much information should be collected and what type of information should be collected. That's for another video, but we're talking about system information, your system hardware and stuff like that. Anyway, my stance is still the same. Hold off and wait before you roll out any sort of update on your system. There's no need to rush. You've got plenty of time to roll this update for 24H2 further down the line. You don't have to do it immediately. And as you can see in my previous video yesterday, I was making that video just to make a, show you how you can install uh, this update early. And guess what happened? I got a blue screen of death. So it was on me just to make content for you guys to show you certain things. But that's what you've got to be careful of. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. Whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three, I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.